In this video, I'm gonna be solving questions on IXL, eighth grade, I5. Write equations for proportional relationships from graphs. Okay, so I'm not, I'm not gonna be reading the questions. I'll just look at the graphs. So what we need to know is if a graph is proportional or on a graph, if Y and X values are proportional, then the graph is going to pass through the origin. It's the first thing we need to know about, about the proportional graphs, okay? So the graph must pass through the origin and then it must be a straight line. So as you can see in this graph, uh, the line, the graph itself is passing through to the origin and it's a straight line. So it is a proportional relationship. So let's see what the question is. We're gonna write an equation for this relationship. Okay, we're gonna write an equation for this relationship. And the proportional equations are in the form of, let's remember that the proportional relationships are in the form of y equals kx. So k is the constant of proportionality we can also say that K is equal to here, Y divided by X, Y divided by X. Because it's a straight line, all these ratios, all Y divided by X's are going to be the same, okay? So what we are doing is we are gonna choose a point and we are gonna divide the Y value by the X value. So. In this graph, we can choose a lot of points. For example, we can choose this point. What is the Y value here? You see the Y is the uh, vertical line right over here, vertical axis. And this is gonna be the Y. And this is gonna be the X. The horizontal axis is the X. So the Y value here is one and the X value is also one. So if we divide one by one, we are gonna get, um, so, divide one by one, we are gonna get K is equal to one divided by one, which is one. So here Y is going to be equal to one time X. So Y is equal to X will be the answer. So you can try another point. For example, look at this. So uh, what are the coordinates of this point? This is one comma one, right? What are the coordinates of this point? It's also six comma six. The first number is always the X and the second number is always Y. So divide the second number by the first number. I mean, divide Y by X. We are gonna get six divided by six, which is also one, right? So six divided by six is equal to one. So as you can see, K is a fixed number. It's a constant of proportionality. So Y equals X is the equation in this case. So I'm gonna write y equals x. First, let me clear this. And then I'm gonna write y equals x. Let's look at this one. So we are gonna look at the graph. I have to choose a point. So it's almost the same. It's, it's actually the same question, the same graph, not the same question, but the same graph. It's a straight line, as you can see. It's a straight line and it's passing through the origin and it's a straight line. So look at this with the Y value is one, X value is one, one divided by one is one. Or look at this point, two, Y value is two, X value is also two, two divided by two is one. So K is equal to one, just like the previous question. So Y equals X will be the answer for this. And let's look at this. Okay, so it's passing through the origin. It's passing through zero comma zero. It's passing through the center, whatever. So, and it's a straight line. So we can say that this is a proportional relationship. Okay. There is a proportional relationship here. So what are the X and Y values here? So the X coordinate, you see, one comma, the Y coordinate of this point is two. Okay, what, what we are doing is we are choosing a point, any point on the graph, 
And then we are finding the X value of that. We are finding the Y value. We are dividing Y by X. Why we are dividing Y by X? Because the proportional relationships are in the form of Y equals KX. K is Y divided by X. So we divide two by one to get the K. So two divided by one will be K here, you see? K is gonna be two divided by one, which is two. You can look at another point, for example, you can look at this point. So the X coordinate you see is four and the Y coordinate here is eight. So the K is gonna be Y divided by X, which is eight divided by four. Don't forget the first number is always X axis, X coordinate. The second number is always Y coordinate. Eight divided by four will be two. K equals two. So Y equals Q, uh, 2X will be the answer. Y equals 2X is the answer. So I'm gonna clear this first and then I'm gonna write the equation, y equals 2x. And let's look at the next example. Okay, it's the same, 2, 1, 2, uh, 4, 2, 6, 3, 8, 4, 10, 5, it's the same. The graph is the same, so 2 divided by 1 will be 2. y equals 2x will be the answer. And the next one. Okay, once again, we have a graph that's passing through the origin and it's a straight line. So passing through origin, let me write passing through origin and it's a straight line. Okay, so this is a, there is a proportional relationship here between Y and X. Now we are gonna look at some points, okay? All of the points will satisfy this, but we have to find a good point to work on. For example, look at this point, because we know the Y value and the X value. If you choose this point, we don't know the Y value and the X value. Uh, I mean, it's gonna be a decimal. It's between one and two or zero, zero and one. So we don't know what those are. So this is a good point. So what are, what is the X coordinate of this? One, what is the Y coordinate of this? Three. So when X is equal to one, Y is three. These are the corresponding values. So in order to find K, I'm gonna divide Y by X. Three divided by one is three. So y equals kx and k is equal to three. So y equals three x will be the answer. You can also look at this point. The x coordinate is three. The y coordinate is nine. Nine divided by three is three. So k is equal to three. y equals three x is the answer in this question. The equation, okay? It's the equation. So I'm gonna clear first and then I'll write the answer. Y equals three X. Okay, so let's look at this graph. It's passing through origin, it's a straight line. So there is a rela proportional relationship between Y and X, okay? So now what is the equation then? The equation is going to be in the form of y equals kx. In order to find k, I have to divide y by x. So I have to choose a point and that point will help me to find the k. So I can choose this point or I can choose also this point or I can choose this point or I can choose, the, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, okay? Wh whichever you want. So you see, this is two comma two two comma two. This is four comma four. This is six comma six. Whenever I divide y by the corresponding value of x, I'll get always one. Two divided by two is one, 
4 divided by 4 is 1, 6 divided by 6 is 1, 8 comma 8, so 10 comma 10, 10 divided by 10 is 1, so k is equal to 1, then y is equal to kx, which is 1 time x, so y is equal to x is the answer because 1 time any number will be the number itself, so I'm going to write y equals x, y equals x, Okay, so now let's look at this example. So as you can see, the graph is passing through the origin and it's a straight line. Passing through origin, straight line, so that means it's a there is a proportional relationship between y and x. So I need a good point here. If I choose any, any point right over here or, um, something around here. I, I don't know the y value and I don't know the x value, right? I don't know the y, I don't know the x, but this looks like a good point. I know the x value of this, it's five, and I know the y value of this, it's 20. So k is equal to y divided by x, which is 20 divided by five, which is four. Okay, so we know that y equals kx. Once again, y, y is equal to kx because this graph is passing through the origin and it's a straight line. That means there is a proportional relationship between y and x in this graph, in this coordinate plane. And that means um, the equation will be in the form of y equals kx. So k is y divided by x. 20 divided by 5 is 4. So y equals 4x will be the answer for this question. So let me clear first. And then I'm going to write y equals 4x. y equals 4x. Let's look at this. It's a straight line. It passes through the origin. So there is a re proportional relationship between y and x, okay? It passes through the origin. It's a straight line. So there is a proportional relationship. Okay, now we have to uh, look at some some points on the on the graph so we need to find a good point it looks like looks like a good point here so what are the coordinates it's 10 comma because look the first number is always the x value it's 10 comma the second number is always the y coordinate it's 10 comma 30 10 comma 30 right okay so because this is a proportional relationship, we can write y equals kx. And what is k? k is equal to y divided by x. k is equal to y divided by x, which is 30 divided by 10. 30 divided by 10. So k is equal to 3. So y is equal to k is 3. 3x will be the answer. y is equal to 3x will be the answer. I'm going to clear this and then I'm going to write the answer. y equals 3x is the answer, 3x. Okay, so now we have a yes, no question here. The question is, do x and y have a proportional relationship? So is this graph passing through the origin? Yes, you see, it's passing through the origin. The origin is zero comma zero. It's the center of the coordinate plane. And is this a straight line? Yes, this graph is a straight line. It's a straight line, it's passing through the origin. So it's a there is a proportional relationship between X and Y. The answer is yes. So what's the equation? Uh, what's the equation? Let's find some points. 
Okay, so I'm gonna need, okay, I can use this point. It is five comma 20. I can also use this point. It's uh, 10 comma 40, right? The X value and the Y value. So we are dividing Y by X, the second number by the first number in order to find the K because K is equal to Y over X and Y is in the form of KX. So let's find, let's divide 20 by five, 20 by five, it's four. You can also divide 40 by 10, it's also four. K is equal to four, so Y equals four X will be the answer. So I'm gonna write Y equals four X here, four X. Okay, so let me clear this first. And let's look at this example. I have to scroll down. Okay. So do X and Y have a proportional relationship? The answer is no. Why? Because this graph is not passing through the origin. It's not passing through the origin, that's it. So in order to be a proportional relationship, it has to pass through the origin. It has to be a straight line. Both of them must be correct. But here, it's a straight line, no problem with it, but it's not going through the origin. It's not going through the center, you see? So it's going through this point. It's not as centered. So the answer will be simply no. And this was the last example of this video. Let me submit and I'm gonna end this video.